everybody, welcome back to Ab Fab. Hope you all had a fabulous week. Uh, get in close, get in real close, girlfriends, because the question is, were you one of those kids that was kind of waiting to be sort of picked on the team and you were the last kid on the team? Well, that didn't happen to me. No, I'm just joking. Of course it did. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? But anyways, this is kind of like that. This is called Tag Your It. And the tag that I am referring to is the Ride or Die tag. So for those of you that aren't completely, you know, YouTube savvy and down with the Urban Dictionary, the term Ride or Die actually kind of refers back to sort of the whole Bonnie and Clyde kind of days. It was said to be a love where the spouse would literally do anything uh, for the love of their partner. And just like all cool phrases, then YouTube got a hold of it. So nobody tagged me. So that's why I'm tagging myself in. And if you're interested, I'm going to do my ride or die makeup products products that I use every day and grab all the time, then just continue watching this video. Okay, so I'm going to kind of start in the order that I would generally put my makeup on. Um, the first thing that I go for in the morning, uh, I want to go for a clean face. A rot or die a facial cleanser for the morning is the South Korean uh, cosmetics company, Mabosha. This is five fluid ounces and uh, it was expensive. It was like in the 30s, but you need a very, very small amount. You just pump one pump on your hand, nice warm water, and it's basically chock full of amino acids, which we know to be sort of, you know, the building blocks for a good skin. So the Bosha Purifying Cleansing Gel, a small rot or die facial cleanser uh, first thing in the morning. Use it every day. And every night and probably a product I'm pretty sure I have never even talked about is my face cream but it is the Neutrogena rapid wrinkle repair moisturizer uh, and this has got a broad spectrum uh, SPF of 30 so and I would suggest that would be the minimum SPF that you want to put on your face uh, in the day if you're fair like me and it is a retinal based uh, face cream uh, just be mindful that they can be very irritating on the skin because they're quite strong so once your skin actually gets a little bit used to it um, then yeah it just it's awesome I love it this is my favorite ride or die put it right there editor self ride or die eye cream for the day and there you go Clinique pep start um, I've talked about this before I can also put a link to that particular video this is a beautiful lightweight it's said to be a three second uh, you know rapid infusion of moisturizers it's, uh, chock full of peptides thus the pep start in it uh, it is really excellent there is no scent to this so um, which is really nice for those of you that do not like fragrances this I apply it before makeup but you could certainly apply this um, throughout the day two or three times or however many times you need to feel that you're kind of taking care of the puffiness under our eyes. So my rot or die makeup primer of course has to be the fabulous Benefit Pore Professional. That for any of you that have any real aversions to uh, fragrances. It does have quite a strong fragrance. Uh, not a perfumey fragrance. I don't know how to describe it. It will sort of kind of die down uh, after you apply it, but the initial application of this primer um, for some, if you don't like fragrances, then you won't like it because you can definitely smell it when you're putting it on your face. Too. Now I prime my face and I'll have to get ready to put my makeup on. So I always start with my under eyes. You know, that really takes the bulk of my attention when I'm doing my makeup. And my rot or die, uh, under eye concealer has to be by Maybelline of New York and this is the Maybelline uh, Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, this is really a great drugstore product. As you can see, I'm already halfway through it and the best part is 
you dial it up and it has this great little sponge tip applicator which you probably can't see and then you can just apply it like so and it's just it's so beautiful it can settle into your fine lines and uh, yeah I put that all underneath here and then I just kind of blend it out with my beauty blender and love it it's my ride or die under eye concealer talked about this a million times so i'm not going to spend a ton of time on this but this is my uh foundation and up until just a few years ago i actually didn't even use foundation so when i sort of forged into the whole foundation world i did not want something cakey heavy and unnatural looking because really that's not just my shtick you know what i'm saying so uh this is my ride or die uh, face foundation and it is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I absolutely love this. This is in the color Neutral O2 or NO2 comes obviously in the warm and the cool as well for those of you. It's got a great little mirror in the compact. It has this great little sort of sponge uh, applicator. Uh, I don't personally use it but it comes with it which is great and then you open it up and the product is actually right inside here and it's dispersed in this little sponge and it goes on so light almost like an airbrushed look and you would be really hard done by as you can see in this close-up, you would be hard done by to actually see any lines or actually any real foundation. And um, yeah, and it also creates a slight luminescent quality about your skin without looking oily or greasy, if you know what I mean. So I'm all in favor of that. That is my rot or die foundation. And my rot or die eyeshadow uh, primer is the fabulous Urban Decay. So this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I love it. You put it on your lids. It takes care of any sort of the veiny kind of look that you might have, evens everything out, and then of course uh, really helps to keep your eyeshadow in place. It basically just locks that eyeshadow right in there, baby. And my rot or die eyeliner yeah that's it it's called eyeliner Denise uh, Mad Max Brown eyeliner and I absolutely love it I have had this for like seven months and it's still putting out product and what I like about a brown eyeliner especially if you have fair skin and you have lighter color hair is it's just it's a little more subtle a little more warm you're looking for a good eyeliner just this precision tip I mean take a look at that looks like a surgical instrument. It goes on and then it's locked in for the day. It ain't going anywhere. I need to do my eyeshadow and come on, let's get out the door. So what is my rot or die eyeshadow that I go to every day? I'm going for is some matte eyeshadows that are pigmented and buttery and that when you put them on, they stay on for the whole day. And I got it with this. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette in each of those. So this is the one that I use all the time because I'm a neutral gal, believe it or not. I thought it was a cool gal, which would be, uh, sorry, yeah, this one. Uh, but anyways, and then the warm one. So it really suits all. It is just the most, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. They are just the most creamiest, mattifying, uh, lock and load kind of eyeshadows that I have ever tried and um, with eyeshadows I will spend a little bit more money because you know I I have probably mentioned a thousand times I have hooded eyes so you know you don't have eyeshadow that is going to just stay on your lid and hold on for the day uh, you're gonna look like a hot mess and uh, so you want really good quality eyeshadows I'm just putting it out there okay so now we got the eyeshadow on and believe it or not, I don't, um, you know, put my mascara on yet because now I'm going to go to my brows. As we age, um, the growth of the eyebrow hairs can be a little sporadic, a little uneven. And uh, while I'm not the one, obviously, by the look of my brows, that wants a very thin, high-arched, wacky eyebrow, I go for something far more natural. Um, I do like to use a brow pomade shape. And uh, the ride or die uh, brow pomade is my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip 
brow pomade. They are definitely at Sephora. This is a beautiful product. I obviously got it in the color taupe. That's what it looks like. It's a putty-like consistency. I can't really show you there, but yeah. What I like about the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade is that it doesn't smudge and it has enough waxiness to it that it kind of clings to your hairs if you use a very small stroke. It's very natural looking. I mean, you know, they've got lots of different shades to match your color hair. So once I've done my brows, I've got my eyeshadow on, my eyeliner, now I'm last going to be putting on my mascara. But my go-to mascara from way back in my 20s was, um, was Lancome's uh, Hypnos Drama Mascara. And of course, for mascara, I go with the blackest black. And what I love about the Hypnos Drama Mascara is basically the wand shape. You kind of can't really appreciate it. It's a little bit different there, but it sort of looks almost like a little caterpillar and it's great for getting volume and separation and thickening to your lashes, but when you're first coating them, you just kind of turn it so that it is actually the other way around. And what I also love about this, these are like those bristles that they have, like proper bristles on a brush. You get the gist of it. Now I'm going to put my blush on. Ride or die blush that I go to all the time has to be my NARS orgasm. Like, let's be original, joining the 10 zillion people out there that actually go for NARS orgasm. This is all that's left. I have lots of blushes, so it's hard. Uh, to replenish this gives you this beautiful natural sort of blush touch of color to your cheeks that does not look overdone and just looks very natural. Oh, I'm going to be lining my lips. Rot or die lip liner that I go to all the time has to be by Annabelle. This is my one Canadian product and you might not be able to get it in the drugstores over there but I'm sure Annabelle Dot .ca has a website and you can get them. They make great uh, coal um, eyeliners, but I love their um, lip liners. They are so cheap. They're like $5.99 um, and I absolutely love this color. Uh, it goes on the lips. It is just a beautiful color because you can mix it with all your nudes, all your mattes, and uh, it's not a huge departure from the natural color of my lips. I mean, obviously a little bit darker, but once you put it on, also it just does not really go anywhere. If you haven't experienced it, then go check it out at the drugstore. Probably if I was going with my all-time rot or die lipstick that I grab um, when I'm going to work, going out the door, whatever, if I want to put something on, it would have to be my MAC. This is the Cream Sheen uh, MAC lipstick in the color Modesty. It's a slightly warm um, nude. It is so gorgeous. It goes on just like a dream. Um, yeah, it's a little bit warm, but it has that sort of pinky mauve uh, base to it, which I think is so complimentary for so many different skin colors. And uh, of course, it is a cream sheen, so it goes on very lightweight, and um, it it is just lovely. And the best part, of course, is, you know, MAC lipsticks. They smell like cupcakes. Am I wrong? They smell like cupcakes. And who doesn't like a nice cupcake? If you're looking for staying power in a lipstick, then you have to go for the matte lipsticks. And I love a good matte lipstick. Uh, the base of this lip, besides the Annabelle lip liner, is this next product, which is a liquid lipstick, but a matte. And this is the Sephora Cream Lip. Uh, stain uh, that comes in 14 different shades and it's number 13 Marvelous Mauve. 90% of the uh, matte liquid lipsticks that you put out there or that are out there are extremely drying, they crack, uh, they show every line on your lips and uh, they just they feel tacky all day and heavy. They're not comfortable. So there it is there. It only takes just literally a couple of minutes to actually put that on your lips and then boom, baby, it's locked in. It's going nowhere. Eat and drink and be merry, but 
your lips are staying. Sephora has actually, for their own makeup line, some pretty amazing products. And this little baby, number 13, Marvelous Mauve, if you have a similar skin coloration to you, uh, is a definite, definite Plus, you will absolutely love this for its staying power and its color. And I think going into the fall, the mauves always look amazing. Um, for my contouring now, which I finished it off because I did my blush, um, it's another drugstore product, one of my favorite drugstore lines, and it is the NYX. This is the Highlight, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette by NYX. I love it for so many reasons, but first of all, it's eight uh, refillable pans. And you get obviously four highlighters and you get four dark contour shades. Um, and uh, the best part, of course, they're refillable, like I said. So once the pan is empty, you just go buy another pan and then click it in all the time. I use actually this color here, which is in the color Sculpt, which I'll use down the bridge of my nose and just kind of my jawline to kind of deepen the jawline. Ice Queen as a little highlight. Uh, today I use that in kind of like a spotlight sort of look on my eyeshadow and you could also use this highlighter I mean it's really quite beautiful uh, you could use this highlighter pretty much anywhere you finish it all off and make it um, especially the under eye concealer sort of set and stay put um, I use my favorite rot or die write it down there rot or die finishing powder this is the Laura Mercier and this is Laura Mercier's translucent powder it is uh, expensive but powder I mean unless you're doing something wrong these powders will last forever and because it's translucent there's no white casting it doesn't you know change the color of your makeup or your face uh, at all uh, but it helps to just set and lock everything in before you walk out the door what is my rot or die sort of makeup setting spray would again have to be and it's getting low this is my Mac uh, fix it prep and prime spray if you've watched some of my tutorials you've seen me use it because it just comes out a fine mist and when I have my makeup on two squirts of that I let it dry for like a second and I'm out the door so at the end of the day when the makeup is all ready to come off probably my favorite go-to makeup uh, removal product would have to be the new micellar uh, cleansing waters and um, as of late um, I'm a big fan of the bioderma but I have been in really enjoying at um, the drugstore the Garnier skin active this is their new all-in-one cleansing water the micellar cleansing water uh, for all skin types including sensitive everybody goes these are great but they don't take off waterproof mascara they do you're using it in the wrong way so saturate your cotton pad put it on to your you know eye makeup if you're wearing the waterproof eye makeup and let it soak because you want to let those little micelles actually sort of attract the makeup and the dirt and the impurities and then let it and then take it off and you know I mean obviously with waterproof mascara you might actually have to do a couple of passes but don't tug at it you know don't put it on like a regular cleanser and then kind of use the scrubbing action you don't need to with micellar water cleansing water so anyways if you're not familiar with those those are always on sale at the drugstore so that is it hope that you like these kind of videos um, I don't do tag videos very often for obvious reasons <laughs> considering I tag myself in I have to just say this, just right on out of here or die trying. You know what I'm saying? And if you're new to uh, AbFab, then please, as you probably well know, you can just uh, click on that link down here at the bottom, tiny itty bitty little subscribe button. It doesn't cost you any money and you can come back week after week and hang out with us girls and we'll talk about all things that are makeup and fun and everything that's absolutely fabulous. Until then, guys, I hope you all have, as usual, an absolutely fabulous week. And I will see you guys all next week. Bye!